friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Agile Technical Tester. We are in chapter 2 and we are done with all the content of chapter 2 and now moving to the next one is the sample questions on chapter 2. So the very first thing here to understand is what kind of questions you will be expecting and what is the count of question which you can actually look forward to have in your examination. We are having all together 20 questions from this chapter as you can see on right your screen right now. And we have 20 questions, 11 from K2, uh, 3 K3 questions and K4 6 questions. Putting it all together you will be having around 35 points to be claimed from this chapter. So please be curious on terms of understanding the content and put a little more effort when you talk about the chapter 2. So let's quickly get started and understand some of the sample questions from this chapter. The very first question coming up here is summarize the characteristics of performing exploratory test with test charters. Now, of course, we have been through some of the content with respect to exploratory testing. And we also understood that what exactly it is when it comes to uh, the exploratory testing and how it can be combined with the black box approaches and many other things like that. So it's pretty crucial to understand first of all the options here and then see in terms of like what could be the right answer for this. A, in contradiction to black box testing, the expected result is documented after the defect is found and not as a part of the test design. Okay, so of course when you talk about the defect, when it is found, it is obviously documented uh, you know expected result here it is an other way around but yes at the same time we are saying in contradiction to black box text black box testing let's look at the other options before we finally conclude on this we have B the test charter or a useful way uh, or tool to be used for testing when detailed specification to the system under test is given um, test charter I probably don't think that we have any get any kind of relation with that uh, you know using test charters in expertise testing it is used when a heuristic approach for writing and performing test session is needed of course not the otherwise because uh, that would be quite contradicting again look at see the result of performing expertise testing by using test charters as finding defect and specification errors of course this is wrong because expertise testing shall also create insight into the better test designs ideas for testing the product ideas for improving and a lot many things like that so it's just not limited to uh, the one which is specified here the expertise testing and black box testing uses the same matrix when it comes to measure the test coverage uh, probably this is also not relevant because uh, a test basis is to measure the coverage does not exist in a quality good enough to have a linkage between specification and uh, testers obviously hard to define so yeah I think that's all uh, what we understand from the options provided here and the right option here is a in contradiction to black box testing the expected result is documented after a defect is found and not as a part of the test design and that's more important with respect to exploratory testing what generally takes place when it comes to execution of exploratory sessions moving to the next question of course do not expect all straightforward questions we are talking about an advanced certification so probably sometime with respect to the TDD BDD concept you would be provided with a code rather and asked like what could be the based on the question provided to you that what is the right answer for that but yeah you if you just pay attention probably you won't have uh, to waste a lot of time digging into the details of the question and you can get straightforward question okay so you do have to analyze the following bubble sort function written in Java so yeah bubble sort we all know from the basics uh, this simple program here but in written in Java Analyzation should be done according to the following checklist. So we do have a checklist with us and we need to compare the code on the right. Number one, all variables should start with a capital letter, except they are used only as counting variable. Number two, if the name of the variable consists of more than one word, all words have to start with capital letter. 
for example first name where f is capital and n is capital as probably when you work with java you know that number three all constants should be written in capital letters except they are only used as start or end point for example in loops um which one of the following above mentioned checkpoint item is not fulfilled so i think when you look at the program on the right side and just concentrate on the one thing here that is of course all the variables are accordingly uh, meeting the expectation but when it comes to two that is the name of the variable we have to sort and to sort is not using the uh, two as one word and s as being to be capitals of course number two is not met here because it says uh, the name of the variable consists of more than one word and all word have to start with capital letter so the right answer here is two that is criteria two is not met where the two sort word the two sort variable must have t capital and s capital moving to question number three is there another example for given when then when we use in the approaches you as a tester of bdd environment know that the following user story has to be implemented and tested for example as a scrum master i want to see lead cycle time progress so that i know whether we are improving our development process or not which one of the following BDD scenario in Cherkin performed is at least partially but best fitting to their user story? So you have a lot of options provided to you here and based on the expectation set, you need to pick the right option here. Let's start with the option A. Given reports section in project area and bug tracking practice is disabled when I navigate to lead and cycle time project report then i see I'll, i see lead time chart and chart contains one line for stories so i think as a scrum master we we are talking about some of the relations being created in terms of the jerkin so this is a lot of thing which we can really understand from here so let's let's get a quick look on what exactly it is uh, it fulfills the requirements of the jerkin language probably when you talk about the given then when format and it's mostly of course it is disabled that's the reason the scrum master is unable to see but let's look at bcd as well where we have b given report section uh, in project area and bug tracking practices enabled if i navigate to lead in time reports then i see cycle time and chart contains two lines for stories and bugs else error messages popping up so i think uh, you know, of course, it's wrong because there is an else that is not a Jerkin format. So if you have probably worked with respect to Jerkin, you know that this is not going to use the else statement as a part of it. C, given report section in project area and bug tracking practice is disabled. When I navigate to lead and cycle time report, then I see the chart and the chart contains information for all the stories. This is also wrong as there are not enough details to develop and test the spec because when you talk about the, you know, the bug tracking and other things, of course, it has to have uh, more information with respect to that. And uh, when it says chart and chart contains information of all stories, it just say that what a story it is. You have to actually have some kind of input on the same. And the last one is when resolve report section in project area and the bug tracking practices enabled, then I navigate to report section and I see cycle time with chart containing two lines that is for stories and bugs. And this also is wrong because the given element of Jerkin is missing. We have to include that format that is given when then. So that format is also critically important. So please team, when you're looking at such questions, do not get carried away by the options and please do concentrate on the format that is given when then must be the used as a part of the option. So as you see in D, given is not at all mentioned there and the format is not used uh, according to the Jerkin uh, syntax. So the right answer here is A that says given report section in project area and bug tracking practices disabled and when I navigate to the lead and cycle time report then, then I see lead time chart and chart contains only one line for the stories so 
these are the examples of the sample question from this chapter. But obviously, you will be having a lot more complicated questions to evaluate and understand. So should you have anything else, feel free to let me know so that we can talk more about it. If you have any question, just do share and let me know about that. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep understanding. We'll be getting back with the Chapter 3 on the tutorials tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching the video team, and happy learning.